Rated G for general audiences. Oliver and his brake van Toad like working in the big yards, but one morning Toad noticed that Oliver looked unhappy. He decided to find out why. Excuse me, Mr. Oliver. It seems to me that things are not real with you, if you forgive me for mentioning it. You're quite right, Toad. All I do is shunt these trucks onto the turntable. I long for a nice run. That's what an engine really needs. Quite soon, yeah. Mr. Oliver. May I suggest you speak to the fact and show them about your problems? Oliver just grew unhappier, and he was rough with the trucks. Percy and Duck! Oh, Percy and Duck are far too busy to be far with the likes of you! And he bumped the trucks hard. Ah! You silly engine! shouted a workman. It'll take a long time to repair this turntable, which will cause confusion and delay! And it did too, for Henry and James had some stern words for Oliver for damaging the turntable well. You know, Oliver, Duck may have been boastful, but at least he didn't destroy the turntable well twice, said James, crossly. Yes, even though he was annoying, at least he did his work without fuss, grumbled Henry. The fat control is sure to be cross with you when he gets back to the yard, finished James. And so Henry and James left in a huff, leaving Oliver to think about what he had done. Oliver was worried about what the fat controller would say when he got back to the yard. That night, the fat controller came to see Oliver in his shed. Oliver, you have caused confusion. I thought you could control trucks. You shall work the mail train for a while. Maybe the night air will clear your smoke box. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir, said Oliver sadly. Cheer up, old chap, says driver. The mail train runs a grand run for a fine engine like you. Oliver smiled, but he still felt he had let everyone down. His driver took him along the coastal run with the mail train. The sea was calm and the fresh air couldn't help but brighten Oliver's spirits. They made good speed until it was time to collect some important mail from Harold the Helicopter. Come on, Harold! They waited and waited. At last, Harold landed. Sorry I'm late, Great Western. Had a bit of a problem with one of my arms. Kept letting me down when I was meant to be up. You know how it is, said Harold. We know it will be late for our first run, replied Oliver's driver. Soon they were on their way again. Ahead was a red signal light. Oliver didn't realize that the signalman had dozed off waiting for them. Oliver whistled several times, but the signal stayed red. There must be something wrong with that signal, but go slowly and stop by the signal box, said the driver. But they never reached it. The points before the signal box are switched to an old track. They were going the wrong way. Oliver's fireman was concerned. We need to find a water tower soon, he said. Instead, they saw an old run-down station. Disaster lay ahead. Meanwhile, the fat controller was very worried. Oliver has not returned. We had better set down to search party. Soon he was high in the sky with Harold. There they are. It wasn't Oliver's fault, said the driver. I'm aware of that. I'm just glad to see that you're all safe. 
Then he saw something. It was an empty old house beside the station. He went to inspect it. When he returned, he spoke to Oliver. Oliver, you have found another attraction for our island. We'll make this house as good as new, and visitors can come and have tea and crumpets there. Hmm, sighed Oliver happily. Getting lost can be interesting, but being found is much nicer, especially it makes an engine feel really useful. <laughs>